One of the things that gives the blues its distinct sound is the use of the minor third and the flat seven. However, it can be very interesting for you as a solo player to use a major third in a lot of your guitar licks. Um, and you can use a major third not only on the one chord, but also the four and the five. And there are some really prominent licks that you hear blues guitarists play over and over that use the major third. One simple way to begin to use the major third is to try this kind of lick. If you're playing on the one, your middle finger here is sitting on the major third. So what you can do is start on a fret below and hammer up to that major third and then hit the fifth of the chord which is on the second string. You can do that same pattern on the four and the five uh, for the four chord. You would start, well the major third would be where your pinky is playing, right here. So you start a fret below, hammer on, and then go up to the top note of that chord on the first string. That pattern repeats exactly with the five except you move it up two frets. And then back to the first pattern. Another lick with the major third that I hear a lot in the blues uses a third that's an octave up from the last lick we learned. So, here's our one chord. Our last third was right here. Now we're going to jump up an octave. Right here. So a lot of times I hear blues players start on the second and bend up to the third. It's a little hard to do on this acoustic. But I can get there. Um, so, again, that's here's our one chord. Here's our top note. We're going to start on the second, which is two frets up. And we're going to bend up to that third. Really reach up for it. Now, this pattern can be transposed to the four and the five by just taking that same bar chord and moving it all the way up to the four. I'm in the key of G right now, so this is actually a C. But it's the same pattern. Start on the top note, find your second from it, and take that second and bend it up to the third. And then, of course, the five is just up two more frets. The four again. And our one. Now, one final word about using these licks. When you're playing a guitar solo in the blues, you need to be thinking as if you're speaking rather than playing. So, the guitar part shouldn't be robotic or monotonous. Instead, it should be improvised and spontaneous, kind of like a preacher preaches. He'll say something, da 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 and he gives a pause. And then he says something again, and a pause. And then he hits a major point, so he's getting really intense, and he's yelling. And then he'll pause again. And so you've got to try and pretend like your guitar is speaking. So what I did is I recorded a little blues progression and played a solo using these two licks that I just showed you, but I did a lot of improvising around the licks. So instead of... I did something like this. It's a little more interesting, a little less robotic, and more like an actual speech. 
Um, the link to it is below. Take a listen and happy playing.